Hi, good afternoon people, everybody, uh, got home from the gym, went to the gym with my wife, did whatever I did, came home, worshipped the car, getting it ready to go down to nasty Los Angeles, just checking fluids, checking everything, um, but yeah, so now I just want to clean up the garage, Organize a little bit like these boxes are basically trash now because uh, That parts installed I got all my Cummins parts got Pistons bearings um, Oil pan More bearings ARP bolts studs Oil pump oil cooler um, I do have some ARP rod bolts coming. They shipped them out today. Uh, the guy called me today to confirm, and it's the same guy I bought, um, my ARP head studs. So I bought the head studs and the main bearings from him, uh, off of eBay, and he was calling me to confirm, uh, Pensacola Injection is what the name was, the store name was. He was calling to confirm that I was buying ARP rod bolts and not ARP head studs. Because I guess apparently people get confused, he said. He says I'll ship them out. The rod bolts, of course, because the rod bolts are 159 or 179 bucks, And head studs are 450 500 bucks, depending on 800 bucks, depending on who you buy them from. Um... Anyway, so he said people get the rod bolts, they get them in, they open them and go, hey, I ordered head studs. And they're like, well, no, you didn't. And they're like, yeah, I did. So anyway, he was telling me the whole story about it because um, he saw I ordered more parts uh, from him before. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean up the garage because it's my relaxed day. i got to work tomorrow. i got to go drive to Los Angeles. California to work um, it's 63 miles away but it's probably about two hours probably about an hour and a half down there and two to four hours home because <laughs> of good old traffic um, because everybody likes to pay attention to everything besides driving so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all this junk uh, take training fluid back there. I kind of want to get some of the stuff organized um, and get ready so when I have next week off or next cycle off I can start on the 6-7 and do my little build series. I might do a build series uh, because I'll be coming home every night. Um, I might do a little build series of you know, assembling this, assembling that. Um, just little five, ten minute videos. I'm not going to do a whole build video. But anyway. Alright, uh, I will be back. I will clean this all up. And you guys will see it about. Just like that. Something like that. Anyway, got this clean. So these are all extra boxes. <clears throat> So everything fit in the oil pan box, head gasket, everything, lower, upper, gaskets, pistons are right there. Um, assembly lube. So basically everything that was in these boxes is all in those two boxes. <clears throat> so including whatever was in this. So my wife has a, she sells stuff on line Etsy or Etsy or whatever you want to call it and uh, she can use these boxes for stuff I don't know what stuff it is shoes boots whatever it is she's got boxes and packing crap so anyway Clean this side up anyway. Tools are all put away. It's a lot cleaner. 
most of the tools are put away, I guess. Um, that's where it was missing. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to go in the house, cool down, and shave my head, shave my face, shave everything. Get ready to go punk a supervisor. You know, the guys that get paid way too much to know anything. Actually, I gotta take that back. I don't think they get paid. I don't think they get paid enough, actually, so. Um, <clears throat> but, not the same, same line. They don't, it doesn't need to be saying I'm worthless, basically. Um, because I'm a newer employee, but whatever. That the crap doesn't bother me. It is what it is. I'll just have to go put him in his place real quick. So anyway, guys, uh, yeah, I'll probably do a little bit here and there, depending on how tired I am, how much I work um, throughout the week. This is on hold for a little while longer. Not too much longer. Um, but yeah, so this is a tranny cooler from the kids' truck. I'm going to end up putting this where that hose is. So I don't know if that's power steering cooler, oil cooler, whatever type of cooler it is. It's not a tranny transmission lines. Um, I'm going to attach them to this, tuck that down in there. And uh, yeah, and that'll be that. That way that gets out of the way, but I'm going to have to do all that later. Um, so anyway, just uh, going to be working, 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 working. Uh, main goal is to get that side all cleaned up and uh, start, start on that Cummins build, getting all these parts installed. So uh, mainly want to get it just cleaned, clean, 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 as clean as I can get it. And then uh, at least throw the crank in there and check the gap, the tolerance for the rings. And then uh, build the, the pistons, basically, the pistons, rods, springs. Get all those assemblies built. And slap, the, slap those in there. I could put those all in there um, for the meantime until I get the bolts. And then once I get the, the ARP rod bolts... Um, tighten all that down, uh, put the girdle in, and uh, we'd have to put the tappets in and the cam in there. Uh, it's just a stock stock cam going back in. Um, they inspected it. They said everything was good. There's no pitting, no rusting, and no nothing worn. So, anyway. But yeah, alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe up here. Check out my Bull 1 and Glenn over here. It's always doing something different. Always doing something weird. Sport related. I don't even know. I don't know what it is. Anyway, and then uh, check out my last video over here. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Later.